I just did my makeup. It's a new makeup look that I've been trying. Super basic, a little bit more than usual, but um, I really like that palette that I picked up from Target. I don't know if that ever made it into a wall. I think it may have. It's the um, Makeup Revolution one, and the shades are pretty good for my skin tone. They look light, but I actually think it's fine. We've got some new hair here. This is from Sally Hair, my ride or die. It's got these brown highlights in it. You guys will see it once. Um, it starts drying, but it looks really good. I feel like it's in your mess when you try and do, just casually break my tripod, when you try and do brown highlights because it's black hair. But I think it looks pretty good. Outfit of the day. This is a little sweater I like wear all the time. I think from Shein that I got years ago. These are one of the free people pants that I got. This is the one that still fits from Macy's during Corona. I have my um, shearling baguette, which I got last year too. I only wore a couple times, so I'm super excited to wear this out today. Um, and then these are just some Nike socks. And I'm gonna wear my Chloe boots, but we are about to head to we're going raw and I'm also gonna get Duncan because I want some matcha and then we're gonna go to the farmers market today um, but you can kind of start to see I actually reparted the hair because it was just like doing a little bit too much I plucked it like crazy but I still feel like I need to pluck it a little bit more that's like the key to making it look more realistic but um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I need a new highlighter. Like the one in that palette's a little bit more powdery. So if you have like a sparkly highlighter that will look on my skin tone, please let me know. It might be raining. I don't know. It's actually really nice. Out. Look at that. We love to see it. So we are about to head out. I love these boots. They're actually rain boots. Um, I feel like trying to think of the order of my videos how I'm doing this they might be up in the little unboxing that I'm gonna do but this is what they look like definitely kind of overpriced for what they are but only rain boots I've ever found that are really cute and I can just wear normally just got my Dunkin I had a free drink so I got the large one Oh, these are cute. The sock boots. You literally just put them on like a sock. <laughs> I know, right? We are at the rental car spot because Babe is picking up his stuff. Don't forget your key.
got this. It's like these almost fried chicken bites that are gluten free. And then my E Signature Ramen, if I can open it. Thank you. With gluten free noodles. Why do I say boy like he's me so I don't know. But I'm gonna get the jacket, the lines, and the swiftly long sleeve top. I just wet my hair so it'll dry like curly. So it is 6.58. I'm actually supposed to train my client at 7. But we're running a little bit late because Mr. Bailey was having some issues going to the bathroom and I, I had to let him go. So um, she was like, that's totally fine. And she is already there ready to go. So I'm hoping they'll have her just like fill out that guest form um, while she's waiting. So that when I get there, we can just start right away. But. I am so out of the habit of waking up this early. I actually have a Tuesday, Thursday Skype client who I wake up at like 6.45 for, but we have not trained. Let me in the lane. We have not trained. Let me in the lane. Let me in the lane. Why is the car in front and the car behind both slowing down? I cannot. Anyways, we haven't trained in a little bit because she had some family stuff going on and then her and her family have been sick. So, um, I haven't woken up early <laughs> at that time, probably in like two or three weeks. So it's kind of odd being literally out of my house at this time, but I'm actually like okay now already. I am going to have to start reintroducing caffeine into my diet because I kind of stops for a little bit. You guys know I like really like matcha, so that's kind of my caffeine source. Um, I used to drink coffee all the time. I literally have the Keurig, but I stopped. And then when I tried to restart, my body was like, absolutely not. So I don't feel like going through that again and we're done with it forever. <laughs> so I'm seeing if I can find some matcha K-Pods. just wrapped up and I am contemplating going back to sleep I'm not gonna lie but this session went really well it was so fun because like I haven't trained with her like I said since before the panorama we did some online stuff but she's just one of those people where she's not gonna go to the gym or really fully do the workouts unless she meets up with somebody which I totally get that's literally why trainers exist so definitely nice I'm excited to do that during the week um but you guys will never really see my workouts with her at least not for a little bit because she's not super comfortable um beyond camera which I completely respect so um for now you guys will just see my own but we're actually be back at the gym later because it is Monday and I train on Monday so I don't know what I'm doing today I gotta figure that out. <laughs> but I have literally the whole day I had to decide, so it's fine. But my challenge is starting today, so I'm super excited. I double checked yesterday to make sure everything was good to go on there. We have the meal plans, we have all the workouts, which I put in there ages ago with the video demonstrations. So now I'm just working on getting our little community tab going. The platform that I used recently added the community feature, um, which is basically like Facebook. So I was like, this is perfect because every single time I've done a challenge in the past, I've really struggled with having like all of these different platforms to use. Like we were using Slack, we were using Facebook for the Facebook groups, we were using um, Shopify is like how I was selling stuff. There's just way too much going on and it was like really hard to keep up with. So I'm glad this time I just have everything together. 
I can't wait to go lie down in bed. So I'm making a last minute MailChimp because I haven't sent out an email yet to my email list and my phone's not working. But basically, you can just create the email in here, add the pictures and all of that. Um, so it's just like a little announcement. I'm doing that so anyone who doesn't know about it yet can still join because it's still open until Wednesday. So they still have two more days. Should have done this a while ago, but I honestly just forgot and people have been joining. So I kind of forgot about my email list. Oopsie. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I checked in with you guys, but I'm headed to the gym. It is four o'clock. I'm about to have my built bar because all I've had today are chicken wings from American Deli. I love their wings. If you're from Atlanta or even to Atlanta, let me know where your favorite wings are because I'm always looking for new ones and I can eat them as long as they're not flash fried. So let me know in the comments down below, but Today's video is sponsored by Build Bar, so thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. This is the coconut flavor, so they have a bunch of flavors with nuts and a handful of flavors without nuts. Um, so they tell you on the back what it contains. So this one does have milk as well as soy. This does have whey protein isolate in it, but as I've said, I have no issues with it and I am someone who cannot really have any dairy, like at all. So I really, really like these because they don't affect me in that way. And it's really hard for me to have protein snacks because most of them are made with kind of like a lower quality of whey, which is why um, I tend not to respond well. So they are ooey gooey on the center. And then some of them have like literal nut bits in. Um, this one is kind of just like that flaky texture of the coconut, but I actually haven't tried this one yet. I also have like a coconut almond one i think so i don't know if i said this one had nuts in it i didn't mean to say it if i did but there is also a coconut almond so you can get a nut one or you can get the nut free one like this one here so i'll leave the coupon code on the screen and also link it down below if you are interested um but i really 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 like these protein bars um and i'm not someone who really likes protein snacks so if you're looking for something that's lower in calories most of them don't have more than 200 calories. This one, for example, has, sorry, I'm getting a bunch of text messages right now. This one has 130, two and a half fat, 18 carb, and 17 grams of protein. So it is enough calories where it's gonna help me through my workout, but it's not gonna like slow me down. Like it's not a ton of food, but it will be nice because like I said, I haven't really eaten anything. And I need just a little extra carbs to get the ball moving here. It's my fault for not eating in the first place, but it is nice convenient to have stuff like this.
film that I wrote down everything that I did, so I'll put it up on the screen. But this is my outfit, by the way. This is my dormy. He said Lulu's. I did the um, glue kit back for the first time. And I want to say years. You incredible. I missed that. So it is now Wednesday. I'm about to take Bailey out to run around. Um, we're just gonna go to like an open field and I'm gonna use my super long orange lead that I have. So it's kind of like off leash, but not really. Um, I would normally just take him to like an actual fenced in baseball field or something, but the rain has been very on and off today and I'm afraid it's going to start raining again soon. And I'd rather not leave that up to chance. So, um, we are just going to do it sort of kind of nearby. So I'm just wearing this little cardigan. I think this is from Shein. I also have it in like tan. Um, this is also from Shein. And then I'm wearing my black Lulu lines. It is 1 p.m. So I am going to the gym today to work out. And then I also have a client. I normally actually have a client in the morning, like I was telling you guys. Um, I have a new client that I'm training, but last night was kind of a mess. I just had a lot going on and I ended up just canceling that early because I just knew, I just knew it wasn't going to happen. So instead of canceling in the morning, I was like, let me just cancel it now. And it's all good. I still have a evening client and then I'm going to do a little workout for myself. My lower back is bothering me a tiny bit, so I'll see what I can do. I'll probably just do upper body so I don't have to worry about it, but um, just been slowly pushing myself again. So I wanted to unbox the supplements that came in because I did mention them earlier in the video. So the company is called Sira. I think it's how it's pronounced. I will find that out. Um, and I'll link everything down below that I got. So um, we have a pre-workout, which we will try out today. I love their packaging. It's so pretty. This is in the flavor Glow supposed to be like glow getta but it's like spelled like that this one does have beta alanine in it so just keep that in mind um but i so far love the products based on the ingredients because they don't have that many ingredients in anything you guys know i take pre-workout literally every single time i work out whether i really need it or not we have our little pre-workout moment in the car i'm so excited for these they're hydration sticks you guys know, if, you, if you're new here, you might not know this, but now you do. I love my intro workouts. Um, I'm not someone who's like huge on, I guess you could say BCAAs or like aminos, which are in here, um, just because you don't really need them, but they are nice to have. So I'm excited for these. These are in the flavor pink candy. Sorry, I like kind of derailed for a second there. Those are the aminos that are included in this one. It also has some coconut water powder in it, which is cool. But I love taking stuff like this as an intro workout. I was using, I can't remember what the company was called, but they make those hydration sticks. They're really, really good. So I'm excited to see how these kind of stack up against them, but they've got some magnesium, sodium, Himalayan rock salt. That's exactly what I put in my water when I work out potassium, calcium, vitamin C, um, and some taurine. So those are the main ingredients. So I don't know if this is actually made for you to take during your workout or not. I don't know how they really have this set up. I think it's just supposed to be for hydration, but this will definitely be an intro workout that I use. And I will obviously try out the aminos as well, but mm, I love me some hydration sticks as someone who just is bad about drinking water. We have a hormone balancer. I know these are super in and trending right now. Um, so this one, it says for your initial use versus regular use, you're always gonna take two capsules. Um, you can either take them 
yeah, so two times a day, so I guess morning, night, something like that. But these are supposed to help balance your hormones, assist with weight management, and keep stress at bay. Um, so I'll be interested to try these out as someone who is on birth control, see if they help me out a little bit, um, especially during that, like, week. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We will test those out. We have these, I think these are the skin pills. It's called the no filter complexion. Yeah. So these are for stronger nails, softer hair, glowing skin, um, three capsules, either one time daily or two time daily. Those are all of the nutrition facts. I will say one thing about pills like these is I don't always follow them to a T with how many they tell you to take because sometimes it can get a little bit expensive and it's not always in my budget to take like a bunch of different stuff. So um, I'll definitely try them out that way, but just know you don't always have to take stuff based on the serving size that they do recommend. And then we just have a sleep aid, which I was like, oh. So it's got vitamin B6, magnesium, which is great for sleep. Um, zinc, a couple things I don't know how to pronounce in here, all just broken down. Um, there's like a decaffeinated green tea in here. Um, some extracts, ashwagandha, which I feel like a lot of brands are trying out right now. And then obviously melatonin, only three milligrams of that. So always do your research when you're looking up supplements, especially when you're kind of doing the pill route, like literally true supplements, like these are supplements, um, because you might not need them and you also might not need as much as they're telling you to try. All right, time to mix some supplements. Just got to the gym, Bailey's doing well, just left him a Kong. We're gonna mix in these aminos with my water, so no salt or anything in here. Today, I wanna to get like the full effect of the aminos so we can really see if they do anything. I like, I feel like I really give literally everybody's aminos such a hard time um, because I just feel like they're not really something that's necessary. Not to say that any supplements are necessary because they're not, but it's usually the one that I don't end up buying. So I'm actually excited to try this because I have not had aminos in years. So we got one scoop, pretty small scooper, which is nice. I feel like it really varies with the aminos. It also just depends like if they add a bunch of other stuff to it. This one is pretty minimal on the ingredients, which I like. Shake it up and give it a taste test. And then not really gonna be giving the pre-workout a taste test because you guys know I'm gonna dry scoop it. It's just who I am, I'm sorry. Wow, that is really good. It definitely has like, a, actually, it has like a twang of like a supplement aftertaste. I feel like you can't really avoid that just because like it's a powder, but that tastes really, really good. It literally just tastes like candy. Like it's called pink candy for a reason. This is the Glow Gitto one. So I don't really know what that flavor is supposed to be. Um, and for this one, one scoop and six to eight ounces of water. It says it kicks in anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes. Scooper's actually at the top of this one, <laughs> which is nice. And this one is just your standard size. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to explain that flavor to you. It tastes kind of like lime, keeping in mind that it's mixed with like super, super sweet aminos. And this one has, should have checked before I took a full scoop, 200 milligrams. So that's a pretty decent amount. Oh, today is from Love Fitness Apparel. This is like the tank and then the leggings from their Tides collection. And they've got the little triangle back, like the Lulu's. I would say I could actually size down. I have all their leggings now in a small, but I could definitely go for an extra small in these. They just come down a little bit as you walk around. So maybe like a little bit tighter, just in the waist. But other than that, they're like seven eight. And then I'm wearing my Nike X-E's. I get a lot of questions on these. Some in the tie-dye. 
highly recommend. And I have no idea what I'm working out today, so I'm stalling. Thursday and we're actually about to go to Phipps. So I'm gonna split this vlogging footage between like two days because I want to do a haul and I want to include like a little bit of the footage shopping if I'm able to vlog a tiny bit. So I'm just getting my bag together. Um, everything I'm wearing from head to toe, I'm not even kidding, is from Shein. I'm gonna take Bailey to Fetch. So there's a Fetch in Old Fourth, one in Columbus, and I think there's one coming to Buckhead. Not sure what shoes I'm gonna wear yet, but here is a full look at the fit. I feel like the bag doesn't really match, but I'm like, I don't really have anything else. I really just wear it like on my shoulder. I don't know. I might actually end up changing the bag. I feel like this just is not like the vibe. It's not fitting. I don't know, but I really like the vest. So we'll figure out what I'm gonna do with um, the bag, but this is what I look like for the most part. So I won't be wearing these jeans, but you know, wishful thinking, but it's fine. <laughs> Bailey's tapped out. You tired, buddy? It's only been 30 minutes. It's really nice out. We got a new outfit of the day. So this bodysuit is from Shein. I'm wearing the same like just lace bra underneath. These jeans are actually, I got them thrifted, but they are Abercrombie and Fitch, I got them for like $12. It's a thrift store in Laurel that I tell you guys about. It's called Second Ave. You have to go in Maryland. Amazing. Um, so yeah, I love these. They're really nice. Then we have the bag. Just doing like brown tones. It doesn't like match as much as I thought it would. Like this is a lot deeper of a brown than I remember, but it does the job. And then, either gonna wear like little booties or my Yeezys. I have yet to decide. It's like, I think of stuff in my mind and I'm like, this makes sense. And then I put it on and I'm like, girl, that looks horrible. So we're about to find out. Do these, I don't know where my Chelsea boots are right now. These are just the red and black ones or just the white sneakers that I was literally just wearing. I'm already sweating. I'm gonna take these brown socks off, but just ignore that while I show you the fit. The Yeezys actually don't look, you know what, I think it's this belt. I don't think this belt is a good, hmm. Sneakers, white, casual, black on black, I don't know. They both look like a little bit out of place, but I just don't care enough, but I like it a lot better without the belt. Let me know in the comments down below <laughs> which one you like better. Um, even though I am gonna make my decision anyways. I forgot my AirPods, <laughs> but I'm going to Phipps, not Lennox, so it should be fine. Um, shouldn't deal with too much harassment there. I've actually only been to Hip words. I think I've only been to Phipps like once besides the time that I, that we just went to the movies the other day we went to Phipps but we were only inside for like five seconds and then we just went to like the movie section but it was during the panorama which we're still in I don't you know but like when we were actually locked down and stuff like that so Everything was basically curbside pickup. So this will be the first time I'm actually like fully walking around. 
So I am quite excited to see what they have in store. Now I have done just regular pickup for Chick-fil-A because I really don't want to deal with the line. It's actually not that bad right now, but I just, no. As I was leaving, I was like, you know what? Let me just grab some extra napkins. And as I get in the car, I spill my drink literally everywhere. It's cause like, it, I guess it's like closed all the way, but when they put the sticker on, it causes like all the air to go to the top and it starts leaking. So all good. I have like napkin shavings all over my pants. I was doing so well with this car. Like I have not spilled anything in here yet, but it was bound to happen eventually. We just got two large fries. I went ham on the sauce because they had like little sauce packet section. Looks like you can actually go inside now and actually order um, because they have like a line section, but they have like the pickup area, the driver area, all that. So now we're gonna head to Phipps. I also got a, was that medium, large? I don't know what size that is. Cherry Coke, no ice. It's always that or it's Sprite. Those are my two drinks. So if you ever see a boot boards, if you ever see a boyfriend tag and they get that answer wrong, you guys knew it. So now we're at Macy's. We're gonna try and find some free people stuff if possible. I'm parked in the garage because it is actually raining outside now. Um, so it did actually end up raining and I just don't wanna get wet when I get out of the store. So we're gonna go in there, see if we have any luck. I haven't had any luck with free people in the past like year. Since the pamer words panorama, I've not found any of their clothes in Macy's. So I don't really know what that's about but I'm hoping now that the seasons are changing I can find some stuff because I really like their things like I like high quality stuff that is cheap well not cheap but on sale <laughs> I am still gonna get wet why would they set it up like this like excuse me trip to Lenox if I did not have a story time? The answer is no. It's so funny the drastic changes <laughs> from going from Phipps to Lenox. They're like, they really are two completely different places and they're right across the street from each other. So within, I want to say 
five minutes had multiple men trying to talk to me <laughs> and the last one was really just the icing on the cake he had this gucci bag like the actual shopping bags that they give you when you purchase something and then he had these two Gucci boxes with the Dionysus, I think is how you pronounce it, that bag. I could immediately tell that they weren't real. And I could also tell they probably weren't real because of the way that he went about calling me over. So he was like, hey miss, like love your bag because I have like my Fendi bag, which obviously attracts a lot of attention because it's literally fur and it's got the logo all over it. So... I was like, oh, thanks. And he was like, um, he was like, are you looking for some other bags? Like, did you want a bag? Immediately, I'm like, jackpot, Lauren. This man wants to buy you a bag. No, not what was happening at all. He then like pulls me over. I'm just in Macy's. We're like in the clearance section now. So away from free people, because I didn't really find anything. Um, I ended up doing price checks on a bunch of stuff because that area was so messy. And all the stuff I had was on sale, but it was like, not the prices I was looking for. Like it was like, some of them were like 75 to like a hundred dollars off. Like it was really good. But I was like, I'm looking for $20, $30 purchases to be made. So it was a little bit too much for what I was looking for. Um, so I left that area, but he pulled me over and he was like, oh, let's go over here. Cause it'll be a little bit easier. And I'm like, okay, this is like a little bit weird. He puts the shopping bag down on the ground. He opens up the box and he's like, so I've got this bag, which is the Dionysus, whatever it's called. It's the bag that like was really, really popular a couple of years ago that like everybody had. And he showed me that one and I was like, oh, like cool, cool. And then he picked up the other one and he was like, yeah, and then this one, which the box was like ripped. Like the top of the box was ripped. Look, I get it. You know, a lot of the boxes that they give you a lot of times can be a little bit beaten up, but it was like ripped. I was like, okay, this is like a little weird and sketch. And I could already tell it probably wasn't real anyways. And he was like, and this one comes with the Gucci sunglasses. And I was like, oh, cool. I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. But like, thanks. And he was like, okay. And he like ran off, like just disappeared. Like when the FedEx men come to your door and drop your package off, like Amazon drivers, like boom, 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 like gone, like into the night. And I was like, that was so weird. Why? <laughs> Why are people like this in Buckhead? I need to understand. Right, my brain's are in my outfit while I first you. All right, if I'm laggy, it's because it's literally 6.50 in the morning and it is so dark outside. So I'm on my way to train my client. I am dressed for my own workout today. So the goal is to do that. I'm gonna see if I can start doing like two sessions a week in the morning and kind of just train when I'm there with my clients like I do when I train them at other times of the day. Um, especially since I'm gonna change upwards, change up my training a little bit. So. Normally I've been training like three to four times a week doing more powerlifting style stuff. Um, but taking just a small detour from that in order to let my SI completely heal um, and give it an opportunity to, you know, get a little bit stronger in that area by strengthening my glutes and most importantly my core a little bit more. I definitely increased my glute strength a little bit over the years since the last time I messed up my SI joint, um, but I have still stayed away from abs, so I'm going to start incorporating um, at least one ab exercise. So, not sure what I'm going to do today, but I did bring some knee sleeves because I might try out the leg press. I've not used the leg press since my first year of lifting because it always bothered my knees um, and I just found better results 
for my quads from just doing front squats. So kind of would work for me, but front squats <laughs> are something that would most likely irritate my SI joint right now um, because of that movement pattern having to keep my core super duper tight. So just trying to find other ways to recruit my quad that don't require me to hold anything really heavy in my hands or on my back. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today, but I'm sure I can film because it's pretty empty during that time period. Um, and we have like an energy drink machine in our gym, which is so nice. So I'll grab one of those because I'm so tired. This will also be the first time I work out on an empty stomach in a really long time. So we'll see how I feel doing that. But I do have, of course, my trusty supplements just in my car at all times. from Bowen Team, the YS. So I'm actually just gonna do aminos today because um, uh, I already had my pre-workout, which I forgot about. It's like 300 milligrams of caffeine, so I think I'm good. So we have like 45 minutes to work out. We're just going to do a quick one. And then I had to head home. Going to Augusta today, which will be interesting. So. Had a great workout, it's like 45 minutes. Have a nice pump. 
try it out. Let me know what you think. I don't know who I've become, but I really liked working out in the morning. I was shocked that I wasn't like dying because I did supersets for literally everything. Like my throat hurts <laughs> because like I am, I don't know, no oxygen. Apparently I wasn't breathing very well. Um, but I'm like so dead set on always having a lot of calories before I work out. But I think number one, just doing like bodybuilding stuff, you know, it's a little bit easier to have less food in your system because I'm not like focusing on lifting super heavy or anything like that. So I think that's like the main reason, but I also think I just like psych myself out and I like tell myself I need to like have all of this food in my system when to be fair, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Like sometimes if I eat too much, it actually makes it worse. So I definitely think I'm going to do like two gym sessions a week in the morning. It was actually pretty busy. Uh, it was dying out by the time I'm leaving now. It's like a little past nine, but it was fairly busy. I was surprised. A lot of the trainers were there. Um, so it's kind of like you have like people like hopping around like crazy. And then they had a class going on basically the entire time that I was there until those last 15 minutes or so. Ah! <laughs> so, um, I try and use that room when possible when I'm just doing basic stuff I don't need equipment for because it's easier to film. But I was actually able to make do with the little area that I was in. All right, makeup is done. This is the fit. It is uncalled for how much these jeans shrunk from Forever 21. They're the cargo pants that I got when I was in, actually this was before I went on my trip, but if you watched my uh, Myrtle Beach vlog, then you would have seen them. <laughs> they are so tight in the waist now and like they're already kind of tight here but they're like pretty tight i don't know if it's because i still have a pump or what but here comes bailey hi it was literally like yeah it was like three minutes uh this is the new top i got from shein it's like the patchwork one i actually tied it around the neck um because i'm not gonna do cleavage and it's a little bit too loose so we just got like this free the nip that's what i'm about and then the cargo pants. I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear um, shoes wise. Probably just my like white sneakers that I always wear from Target. And then bag, probably something black. I have a new bag, but I don't wanna spoil it because I haven't posted that video yet. It'll go up after this one. So um, I think we're just gonna do my little Lady Dior's. All I need is my camera, wallet, and my keys, basically. So we'll do this. So we just got back in the car. I got this, which I got last time. I don't think I ever showed you guys because I think I was vlogging that day and I didn't end up posting the video. But they're like these protein snacks, but the macros are so good. It's so got 21 fat, 46 carb, and nine grams of protein. In this little thing so it's definitely not the best like protein snack i would say it's pretty low but really like it so we're gonna go by the post office i gotta send out my friend's hat and i gotta return my smart trip through nationwide um for insurance for my car so whenever you get a new car they give you the option to save by putting in this little chip in your car i think they actually do it through an app now too um, it's gonna be on the right. I don't remember exactly which parking lot it's on. I think it's... I think I see it. Yeah, okay. Um, and so I ended up saving, I think it's like, I think I got like 25%. My dad ended up getting like 29 or something. So that goes towards the insurance. But I think it's only with new vehicles or if you just join Nationwide. I don't remember if I said what smoothie I got, but this is the PB&J. They have like an entire booklet of them. Really, really good. Best one I have tried so far. Definitely better than what I was trying to accomplish. So we just got gas. I just peed. <laughs> I was like, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. 
even though I pee before I left. All that water I drink at the gym. It's like my daily allotted water is drank during that period of time. So now we're gonna head there. So this was to take like two hours. We might take a nap. The perks of being in the passenger side. Mm. Really good. This is definitely urban. I recognize. A little price here, it's 40 bucks. So. Oh, that's not bad. I don't know if that's it, though. I wouldn't pay it, but that's not bad. to Humana Tree House in downtown Augusta, downtown. I got the mint lemonade and then we got a, I'm probably not gonna like that. Sure. It tastes like the ground. <laughs> tastes like the ground. <laughs> Literally, it tastes like the ground. We, definitely probably won't like this movie. we got a vegan, gluten-free vegan burger yeah. or something like that. Where are we going now? Um, I was thinking we go to the farmhouse. Farmhouse. Where we can actually we can get a burger and stuff there. And get gluten-free fries. Yes. Well, yeah, well, gluten-free fries. fries. You gotta, yeah, we're gonna, we have to ask them to, to cook it in a separate, separate fryer. fryer. <laughs> That's cool that they do that. Yeah. And they'll be like, okay. Yum. This is so sour though. Real lemonade. Need some sugar. Oh my god, whenever you take a sip, you take like the whole thing. You gotta get the whole experience, you know? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. So this is Broad Street? This is Broad Street. And that's Imperial Theater. Um, Imperial Theater. This is like the main street where all the shops and stuff are at. Cool. Like oh yeah. Shows. What do they have there? Do they do like, um... They do shows and stuff. Like comedy stuff? Some, no, more like bougier stuff like actual like musicals like buckhead stuff yeah and then there's a miller theater where they do like music and comedy normal stuff. people things mm -hmm. 